Hi, my name is Jan. One of the things that most of us have been talking about during the course of this pandemic is what is actually important to us. It comes up in all different kinds of ways. When we talk about work, we think about how the changes have affected what enriches our working lives. For some people, the move to working from home has been really positive and created opportunities for them to lead more fulfilling lives. But for others, it's been a real loss. When we talk about how our ability to connect has changed, again, we're thinking about what really matters to us. So much of our everyday conversations during the course of this pandemic has focused our thoughts about what really matters to us. As therapists, we often discuss with clients about what really matters to them and what their values are. We think of our values as our heart's deepest desires, how we want to behave now and in the future. Our values reflect how we want to treat ourselves, others and the world around us. We all have values, but we all don't share the same values. They are one of the things that makes you uniquely you. Some examples of values might include courage, humour, patience, creativity, kindness. It is helpful to consciously think about what your chosen values are and how these can influence what you do in your everyday life. Why? Because when we live a life that's congruent with our values, then we are more likely to experience it as rich and full and meaningful, even when the really tricky stuff happens, like a global pandemic. The pandemic has created so much challenge, stress and distress for so many. But one of the things that the pandemic has perhaps brought us all in our conversations and our experiences is more thought about what is truly important to us and about our values. The conversations I have both in my therapy sessions and with my friends and family is the realisation that we now understand more about what really matters. So, as we go through this next phase of the pandemic, it is useful to think about those conversations and think about what your values are and how you translate that into your everyday life. How do you do more of what matters? It's not easy and there will be obstacles. But to think about how we can do more of what matters, even in the smallest of ways. For example, if one of your values is kindness, then how do you start by being more kind to yourself? Now thinking of your values and what matters most might feel a bit strange. To help with this, there are some exercises on the blog that accompanies this video. They can be found on the Wellbeing Rooms website on www.thewellbeingrooms.org.uk One final note of caution about values. As you think about your values and how they can influence what you do, think about them as a guide, not a list of commandments. Now, have a think about your values. What is important to you? How can you do more of what matters? Feel, feel free to visit the blog. Go on, what have you got to lose?